Come on in, come on up, come on over For the merriest time of year Come on up, come on in, get together For a good time, smile my dear Come on in, come on up, come on over We'll be dancing round the tree So let us have a swinging Christmas Just like one, two, three is working today so they're first up a Santa that's what you had yesterday Adam no mm -hmm. Clyde not for doggies oh don't be cruel <laughs> you've just had a biscuit from granddad Clyde angel a what angel again oh an angel I thought you said an engine I was going to see what's that got to do with Christmas <laughs> what you got today Maltesers! Yay! Clyde's like, ooh, I like the smell of that one. Right, Adam, <laughs> what have you got today? Sure. Such a thing. Ooh, ooh, catch it before Molly does. <laughs> what is it? Uh, uh, a reindeer. A reindeer. Grandma got run over by a reindeer. No, Molly, it doesn't matter how much you dance, you're not getting it. Molly. No, all the doggies mm. are in. They've all had their biscuit from Grandad. Got an angel as well. Yep. Yep. Is that a card today, I wonder? Hugo just standing watching. No, oh, there's no chocolate in that one, Hugo. Oh, it looks like it could be a car. It's the right sort of size. Oh, it's definitely not chocolate, Hugo. Ooh, cool one. I just trying to eat it. I trying to eat it, trust him. He wouldn't eat his own advent calendar on the first day, but he'll try and eat a car. Oh, Hugo, there's nothing for you. You'll get yours after. Okay? Yes. you get yours after. Let's see what Adam's got in from his advent box. Oh, I know that shape. Give it a shake. Oh, I love that noise. I love that noise. I'm not even a Smarties fan, but I love the noise yeah. of Smarties shaking. I love the feeling of it. Yeah. Yeah, a bunch of Smarties and going like Yeah. I've got a debate for you. Two the orange Smarties taste different from the rest. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Because they come in a tube on their own. That's right, so they are they, orange. They taste like but I mean, so do pink ones, but they don't taste different. I think that's just. That's color. just it's being just pink. pink. The orange, orange ones taste orange. orange. Taste They're orange, thank you. Brick, There's so many quirky. people say, no, they don't taste different, but they definitely do. Just, are they better? Yeah. yeah the of course orange they one are. is the best, best. One in the tube because you'll the grab a handful a and you'll just go like that. The others give you a headache, it'll be the E numbers. <laughs> Because you grab a handful and you just go like that with them and then yeah. you just get that one. That orange and you're like, orange. oh, there was an orange yes. one in there. <laughs> that right one. Goal is <laughs> oh, you'll get yours after, Hugo. Oh, good boy. Oh, you're such a big softy. Look at you, scary big dog. We need to sing it though. <laughs> 21 sleeps to go. 21 sleeps to Santa. At least you don't run away. Brooke runs away when I sing it. <laughs> Yeah, 21 sleeps, hooray! Good morning everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 5. I've got my Santa headband on again today because I did actually wash my hair this morning so it's not a greasy mess. And I have got my snowman earrings in. I should have put my Santa earrings in to match my Santa headband but never mind. I've got my gonk jumper on because I do love gonks. And talking of gonks, I've got a little introduction to make. In fact, I've got two introductions to make today. The first one is, the other day I was talking about wanting to get a gonk doorstop because we've got the garland around the living room doors now, so we need to keep one of the doors open and we didn't have a doorstop, so we've been using the dog's, the dog's tog box, the dog's toy box. And it's not exactly very pretty. So I was wanting to go and get one. I looked in home bargains, they didn't have any. So Abby and Adam were out yesterday. They went to the range and they got me one. Are you ready to meet him? Look! <laughs> He's a wee bit scruffy, so he fits right in in this house. 
And I asked them to name him. I said, what's a good name for a doorman? And they said, Tony. Tony, the New York Italian doorman. I don't know where they got that from. I think Abby said something about being from Jesse, the American kids show. I don't know. But Tony it is. So I'm going to go and put him pride of place at the door very shortly. But not until I finish talking to you. So that's my first introduction. Tony, the doorman. Oh, he's got wire in his hat. Oh, I didn't realise that. His hat's in stand-up. So, that's the first introduction. The second introduction. We seem to have another little being who wants to stick around for Vlogmas. I noticed a big spider crawling about in here on the 1st of December. And it's never went away. Every morning when I come in, it's at a different bit of the wall. I need to show you. Sorry if you don't like spiders, but it's actually a very cute one. Wait, I'll see if I can zoom in. He's quite big. But he's very harmless. Look. Isn't he lovely? He's not moving, it's just me shaking. But yeah, he's quite happy just crawling about the wall. And I'll leave him because he's not doing any harm. There's no point putting them outside, he'll just come right back in. It's that time of year, isn't it? It's too cold outside for them. So yeah, that is... That's our little spider who's decided to join us for Vlogmas. We will uh, track his progress over the next, how many Vlogmases? 20? 20 Vlogmases to go. Um, yeah, don't know what to call him. If you've got any ideas, put it in the comments below. <laughs> um, so, Brooke isn't up yet. She's not done her advent boxes or found the gonks. I found the gonk. Not the gonks, the elves. I have found the elves. You'll know why I said that shortly. I'm not impressed with what they're doing. So when Brooke gets up, we will we will look at the elves together. Wait until I show you what Hugo's doing. Hugo got that toy for four days ago, three days ago. He is ripping the stuffing out of it. It's his favourite pastime. He loves toys with stuffing so that he can rip the stuffing out of it. What? You go. Aye. You go. What you doing? You go. <laughs> He's ignoring me because he knows I'll tell him to stop. You go. What you doing? What you doing to your toy? What you doing to your toy? What was you doing to your toy? Look at the state. There's muggins here that has to pick up all the stuff in. Isn't it? I've got my advent candle burning there. And I'm about to open my advent calendar. It's the fourth today, so we're on number four. And we've got a little red ball today. I wonder if that'll taste different from the white balls. I don't know. Music quiz time. What was it yesterday? Right, so yesterday was the riddle. And it was the young lad who was playing an instrument. It was little drummer boy, pa -rum -pum -pum -pum. So it was a young lad, a little boy, playing an instrument, the drummer. Right, sorry about that. Abby was just leaving for work. I was just saying goodbye to her. Oh, Santa's legs were hurt. He's getting heavier. You must be eating too many mince pies. Right, so yeah, yesterday's answer was Little drummer boy, pa rum pum 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 Today is going to be a Guess a song from random lyrics Fa la 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 And today's lyrics are I've written them down so bear with me Well, I've typed them out um, Vixen and Blitzen and all his reindeers Pulling on the reins A little bit harder Because I've had to make them harder Excuse them, they're playing Vixen and Blitzen and all his reindeers pulling on the reins. Okay, so if you know the answer to that question, put it in the comments below or you can put your answer on Instagram and email. Uh, remember, it's just for fun. There's no prizes for this one. The prize is from finding the elf head. You need to tell me where you found it. That's what you get the prize from. Right, now today's plan like yesterday, it's very little. I've not got any plans for today. I've still got a few bits of admin to do. I got all stressed out yesterday. Sorry for the change of scenery. I wasn't get any, getting any peace for them barking, so I have came through to feed them so I can talk to you. Yeah, I was getting so stressed out yesterday. 
with the whole marshal and thing, I'm actually thinking about centre. You know what? I'd want to step down from being chief marshal and just turn up and marshal because it's taken the fun out of it for me. I really enjoy marshalling, but this whole trying to get everybody organised, I'm not enjoying it, especially just now during Vlogmas. And it's taken the edge off Vlogmas for me. I want to have fun during Vlogmas. I don't want to be stressed out trying to chase people up and do paperwork and things. I've got enough to do with editing and things like that. So I'm thinking about speaking to, well, not speaking to her messaging Karen today and just saying, look, I want to step down. It's not like it's a job. If it was a job, fair enough, but it's just a volunteering thing. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. But today, I've still got yesterday's vlog to edit and upload, and then I think I want to just sit, catch up on Vlogmas videos. The only ones I've watched so far are Christine's. I'm just not getting a chance. Willa! I'm not getting a chance at all. So today, I want to watch Vlogmas videos, do some Christmas diamond painting, and just enjoy the day. So I think what I'll do for you is I will show you my Christmas mugs, which I recorded earlier, um, back in November actually, when I was getting all my Christmas stuff out for my room. I washed all my Christmas mugs and filmed them before I put them away. So I'll let you see that while I'm diamond painting away. So I will come back to you when Brooke eventually gets out of bed and let you see what the elves have been up to and what Brooke gets in her Advent. Come and see what your go your gonks, your elves have been up to. I've left a note. We invented a new game called Bonk the Gonk. We're very good at it. Ho ho ho. Why? They're bonking my gonks. <laughs> With their hammer that is. <laughs> Just don't you be sitting on my gonks now, Clyde. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. Oh. <laughs> really, Hugo? They'll get their own back. I'm tired. <laughs> I can tell. It's uh, 20 past nine. Is it just a normal one today? Yep. Very healthy breakfast. It's <laughs> a good thing about Vlogmas. Chocolate for breakfast. Are we spider friends still there? Hey! <coughs> is it now? Oh, it's a Stranger Things logo. Cool. Pop it up there. Number... Four. Four. Five. Don't sit on the gonks. You can sit on the blooming elves all Go. you want. Go. Where did they even get the wee hammer? Look at the wee hammer. Ooh, I like that kind of chocolate. Ooh, is it chocolate Oi. or is it money? Oh, bank of lap land. That's a shame. <laughs> it's a shame it's not a real £50 note, isn't it? <laughs> Definitely not for you, Hugo. Yum. There he is. Tony the Gonk Doorman. Don't know why they called him Tony, but it's much better looking than the, the dog toys. <laughs> so oh, I've just taken all my Christmas mug out of the dishwasher and I thought I would show you. Please excuse the tumble dryer, as always. So I've gathered quite a collection of Christmas mugs over the years and here they are. So we've got this one here. Ho, ho, ho. And I'm quite sure there was like a Santa or something with the head here. Um, and the same here, the elf body. I'm quite sure there was a head. And the mischievous elves do sometimes appear in these mugs, I believe. I'm going to move them as I used to were in um, Christmas Eve boxes one year. I'm not sure which one was on the naughty list and which one was on the nice list that year. Um, I'm pretty sure Abby was on the naughty list and Brooke was on the nice list, but that does change from year to year, as you can imagine. <laughs> there was a time before the gonks that I was gingerbread mad. I still do love gingerbread. Gingerbread lattes, gingerbread syrup, gingerbread men, whatever. Um, so, uh, yes, I love this gingerbread mug, and I still do. 
going back on the naughty and nice theme, naughty is a new nice. Sometimes it depends what you're up to, I suppose. <laughs> These are the mugs that Granny Annie and I usually have our coffee out of. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow, and merry and bright. Because they do look quite sophisticated, don't they? And you can kind of tell, they're not really meant to go in the dishwasher, but this one uh, has been used a lot and it has been put in the dishwasher. They both have, and they're standing up not too bad, but they're a good size for a latte or a hot chocolate with plenty of cream and marshmallows. Oh, yum. This one I'm sure did have like a hot chocolate or socks or something in it. It's Merry Christmas and it's got a whole load of penguins going around it. It's very cute. This was a Brook one, I think. It was a gift to Brooke. I don't think there's anything inside it. No, there's not. And um, these two, ho, 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 have a holly jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. That's a good one. That came from either cherries or poundland.com. And that was a Christmas Eve box one. As was this from the same place, cherries or poundland. And it's have a barkingly good Christmas and a yappy new year. And it's all the doggies. That was definitely for Brooke, that one. I, I was sure there was one of these had something inside them, but they've not. But yeah, they're good ones. I got the naughty and nice theme. This one's a wee bit boring, but it's still a Christmas mug. It just says nice. <laughs> and of course we have Kevin the carrot. Kevin and his wife Katie taking a bow. This was a couple of years ago, I think. And in here we do have, look, yay, Kevin and Katie. And it says, oh, that's upside down, silly me. Kevin, Katie and the kids inside there. So yeah, that was a couple of years ago. And this one, I think I must have got this in the sale last year because when I got it down from the loft, it was still in its box. So look, Kevin, Katie and uh, the, one of the kids anyway, is it Jasper? I think it was maybe, oh yeah. We've got, oh no, Shantony, Jasper and Baby Carrot. So this isn't Kevin and Katie. Ah, it's the extended family. And we've got a snowman in there. I didn't realise it was the extended family. There we go. So yeah, if we put them side by side, yeah, you can tell. It's not Kevin and Katie, look, because they are very different. <laughs> what am I like? Anyway, let's move on to my favourite. Oh my God, Santa, I know him. Love Elf. Love Elf. If you've been watching my vlog, you will know that I was so excited when I realised that Santa were, Santa, that Asda were using Elf for their Christmas advert. I was so excited and I had to go and get some of their merch. So yes, this Elf mug is my favourite this year. Then I wonder who these could belong to. Abby is Stitch Mad. So she got this mug last year. Merry Stitchmas. This was in her um, Christmas Eve box. Look at him, he is very cheeky, isn't he? And she got this as well last year, Merry Stitchmas. Yay! And still on the Disney theme, we've got a Mickey Mouse glass. I think Brooke maybe got that one. And look how old this is now. You can tell it's old because it's just out the dishwasher and it's looking really dull now. Look how sparkly they are. And look how dull this is. I'm not chucking it, I won't use it. But I can't chuck it because I've had it for years and years and years. It just says ho ho ho. And no, I'm not going to chuck it. I might use it for something but not drinking. So that is my Christmas mug collection. And I've just realised I've not actually made any for myself. None of these are handmade, which is quite surprising considering I make mugs for other people. I might need to do that next year. I'll make myself a little mug. You open number eight. Oh well, the cat can't tell what number it is, it's fine. These so-called energy saving bulbs that cost a fortune keep blowing. <laughs> Drive me nuts. We'll do number four on number eight. Well, if you've opened number eight, that's fine, yeah, we'll do number four on number eight. It's a cat right. getting his advent calendar first you go, you can wait. Adam's gonna walk with Molly. You're gonna walk and then get an abbey from work. Yeah. Are you? Lucky doggy. So my belt, right, it's made out of elastic, uh -huh. and it's because it's, it's a work belt, it's on my work trousers, <laughs> and I'm pulling it from like the buckle side, and I've got it way <gasps> up here, 
<laughs> and I get stuck and I was like, why is that not coming? And we're like, ah, why is that not coming? And I was like, leg over oh. up here and I just like, shh, got it straight off my knuckle. Ouch. I was sitting there going. That's like when you've got a tape measure and yeah. you let it go. Ow. Uh, it was not fun. She was laughing at me. Were you laughing, Molly? Were you? Look, Clyde's laughing as well. <laughs> yeah. Was it funny? <laughs> it's like, come on, Adam, what are we waiting for? I've got my harness on. Let's go. Moment. <laughs> it's like I've got real food here. Why am I wanting treats? Ooh, there's your treats. There's your advent calendar. Good He's boy. He's a fussy cat, I wasn't eating them. Oh, dogs. You want them in the <laughs> Ate them the first time. It's because he's got his dinner there. Never mind. I know, because remember the first time I put it up there? Yeah. Right, do the puppies want theirs? Do they? Yeah. Give Willa hers first today, because that was a shame yesterday. Well. Right, is Willa going to sit? sit. And take it nice? I'm you go, no. Trip. Ah, you going to do a trick, find out what hand they're in? No. 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 Show it. <laughs> you go next. Oh, good boy. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> good boy. Oh. He's going to take it to his spot. <laughs> he took one oh, square. take the other bits. That's his spot over there. He always takes his treats over. And Clyde's been waiting patiently. Good boy. Oh, good he's even... Oh, good boy. good boy. Here you go. Go and get your own. Oh. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Over there. Here you go. Here you go. Good boy. Molly will get hers after. Ah, oh, hello. Good afternoon. I have... Managed to get a little bit of diamond painting done and I've managed to watch one and a bit of Tracy's Vlogmas videos. So I'm getting there. Uh, but I've edited yesterday's video and got that up and I've actually started editing today's video as well, which is quite good. And I have just messaged Karen. I've been debating with myself all day, do I message her or do I not? And I just messaged her and said, look, I don't want to let you down, but I've got so many balls in the air just now that I'm in danger of dropping them all and letting everybody down. So, yeah, I basically said to her that I want to go back to just being a bog standard marshal and turning up and enjoying it on the day rather than worrying about it all the time. Because I really do enjoy marshalling and I don't want it to start becoming a chore. So we'll see what she says. Hugo's got his ball. I did catch him chewing Tony the doorman once already. So I'm going to have to keep a wee eye on Hugo with that. Eh, mister? But uh, other than that, yeah, he's been all good. <coughs> That's him wanting me to play with his ball. <coughs> anyway, the wee Glessica granny has just came in. So I am going to hand over to her and let her read some more of the story. The reindeer was given Nicholas and... Mika a ride to the far north because Nicholas had helped the reindeer so the reindeer decided to help him by letting him jump on his back because he knew that Nicholas had sore feet. So let's see what happens next. I'm going to hand you over to the cosy Christmas corner and the wee Glesga granny. Hee hee, it's me again, I'm back. Are you alright boys and girls? See, I've got my specs on with the antlers because... I thought that would be the right thing to do the day because the, the reindeer was off he did to Nicholas yesterday, wasn't he? So I thought I'm going to be good to the reindeer and I'm going to put my antler specs on just, just to be nice. Anyway, the chapter of the day is called Something Read. Right. I need to give you a name, he told the reindeer. Names must not be important to reindeer, but they are important to folk. What about he closed his in and reminded the dream he'd had of sledging by Loch Blitzen when he was a bairn. Blitzen! The reindeer's lungs pricked up and he raised his head. Nicholas decided that Blitzen was a stuttery a name. That's what I'm going to call you if that's all right. And it seemed as if all was right. 
I need to give you a name, he told the reindeer. Names might not be important to reindeer, but they are important to people. What about... He closed his eyes and remembered the dream he had when he was sledging by Loch, Loch Blitzen when he was a child. Blitzen! The reindeer's ears pricked up and he raised his head. Nicholas decided that Blitzen was a brilliant name. That's what I'm going to call you if that's okay. And it seemed as if all was okay. Nicholas, Mika and Blitzen travelled together for what seemed like days. At last the landscape all turned white and Nicholas Kent they were at the bit of the map with nothing on it. The snow got deeper, the wind mere snell, but it didn't start blitzing. Finally, as the howty of winter moon hung like a scalp in the lift, the snow started falling and they raxed it off a muckle mountain. Nicholas, Mika and Blitzen travelled together for what seemed like days. At last the landscape turned all white and Nicholas knew they were at the bit of the map which had nothing on it. The snow got deeper and the wind more severe but it didn't stop Blitzen. Finally, as the hook-shaped moon hung like a ledge in the sky, the snow stopped falling and they reached the awfully huge mountain. Blitzen was starting to slow down, as if he was finally pecked out. Good boy, Blitzen, Nicholas kept saying wabbitly. Good boy. He kept Yin Hon or Mika to keep him safe in his pooch, and now and again used the other to clap the reindeer's back. Blitzen's feet were stepping on nothing but snow now, and it was getting thicker. It was a wonder they could keep going at all. Nicholas felt blinded by the white until, at last, halfway up the mountain, there was a glint of reed, looking like a sliver of blood, a score in the snow. Nicholas limped after the reindeer and struggled through the freezing whiteness towards it. Good boy, Blitzen, Nicholas kept saying tiredly. Good boy. He kept one hand over Mika to keep him safe in his pocket and now and again used the other to pat the reindeer on the back. Blitzen's feet were stepping on nothing but snow now and it was getting thicker. It was a wonder he could keep going at all. Nicholas was blinded by the snow until halfway up the mountain he saw a glimmer of red looking like a sliver of blood or a scar in the snow. Nicholas jumped off the reindeer and struggled through the freezing snow towards it. At last he got out at it. It wasn't blood though. It was a reed bonnet and he came at fir first glisk. It was his father's reed bonnet. Da! Da! He stayed there, howking the snow with his bare horns until shaking and frozen he finally burst out greeting. It's no use, Nicholas told Mika, who was kicking out his coach pooch. Please, is we chittering he'd braiding the cold. It's no use at all. It's probably dead. At last he got over to it. It wasn't blood though. It was a red hat and he knew it at first glance. It was his dad's red hat. Dad! Dad! He stayed there, digging at the snow with his bare hands until shaking and frozen, he finally burst into tears. It's no use, Nicholas told Mika, who was peeking out of his coat pocket, his small, shivering head braving the cold. It's no use at all. He's probably dead. No point in going for it or back. He realised how stupid he'd been to leave the bothy. Hope finally dribbled a wall. It was that cold, his tears froze on his face. He can't at Whitney Tack Lang to D. Chittering, he watched Blitzen squin. Blitzen? He closed his ear. He stopped greeting, waited on the chill to lee his veins and peace to calm at last. But in a matter of minutes, 
he felt a gentle, creepy nudge at his lug. Opening his ear, he saw Blitzen's unblinking ear, a hint of cloud of warm breath, looking at him in a way that made him think that he understood often. There seemed no point in going forward or back. He realised how stupid he had been to leave his little home. Hope finally dribbled away. It was so cold that his tears froze on his face. He knew it wouldn't take him long to die. Shivering, he watched Blitzen climb. Blitzen! He closed his eyes. He stopped crying, waited for the chill to leave his bones and peace to come at last. But in a matter of minutes, he felt a gentle, friendly nudge against his ear. Opening his eyes, he saw Blitzen's unblinking eyes behind a cloud of warm breath, looking at him in a way that made him think he understood everything. What was it that got Nicholas Glim back on that reindeer? Was it hope? Was it courage? Was it just he needed to finish what he had started? One thing was certain, Nicholas felt something certain to burn inside him. Weak and wabbit and cold and hungry and dirty as he was. He tain a hoddy his father's bonnet, shook off the loose snow and pit it on his head and skin back onto the reindeer. And the reindeer, wabbit and cold and hungry as he was, carried on walking up that mountain because that's what mountains are for. What was it that compelled Nicholas to climb back on the reindeer? Was it hope? Was it courage? Was it just that he needed to finish what he had started? One thing was certain. Nicholas felt something starting to burn inside him, weak and tired and cold and hungry and sad as he was. He took hold of his dad's hat, shook off the loose snow and put it on his head. He climbed back onto the reindeer. And the reindeer, tired and cold and hungry as he was, carried on walking up that mountain, because that's what mountains are for. And that's the end of the day's chapter. I thought he was going to get off his sad there. I thought he was just going to curry up and dee right there in the snow. But he didn't. Blitz and kept on going. Right, kiddies, I'm off. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. To blue. Oh, so I hope everything's okay with Nicholas's dad. Imagine finding his hat in the snow. Oh, hope it doesn't mean that the worst happened. We'll need to wait and find out. Oh, and calling the reindeer blitz, and isn't that nice? Oh, I hope he didn't copy that off Santa, but I think the book set way before Santa, isn't it? So I don't think he's copied him. I don't know. Maybe Santa copied Nicholas. Who knows? We'll just need to wait and find out. Anyway, we'll find out what happens next in tomorrow's Vlogmas. But before I end this vlog today, I need to do the Christmas memory. And today's Christmas memory is from Cheryl from the Stevenson Gretsch family. If you don't already watch their channel, you need to go over and watch them. They are also doing Vlogmas and I absolutely love their channel. You'll hear me talking about them all the time um, because they're just fab. They're a fab family and yeah, they do daily vlogs anyway, but their vlogmas is always good because they've got naughty elves as well who come to visit. And I've not even started watching their vlogmas yet either because I'm so behind. Cheryl, I promise I'll get watching it soon because it's Ben's birthday soon. I know it's coming up. I can't remember the exact date, but I know it's coming up. Anyway, and I'm sorry if you get the glare. I noticed when I was editing um, that you get the glare from the laptop of my specs. Wait, I'll see if I can see it without my specs. Right, so Cheryl said that her favourite Christmas memory is the big smile on Ben's face when he opened a big fire engine toy that he wanted. Now, Ben is Cheryl and Stephen's oldest son. He has got autism and he is a very very handsome boy he's 16 i think and he is so handsome but when he smiles that smile would light up a room it really would so i can just completely understand why that memory sticks in cheryl's mind because the smile on ben's face when you see something that he really likes um 
yeah, it just it melts your heart. It really does. So I'm not surprised that that is one of your favourite Christmas memories, Cheryl. I'm actually filling up here thinking about it. So yes, that is a lovely Christmas memory to end on today because I think it's nice. I mean, it's lovely to have memories of our own favourite toys, like the way that we felt when we opened our toy and thought, yes, that's what I really wanted. But it's a completely different feeling when you see the joy on your own child's face when they open the toy that they really wanted. It's just, it's really heartwarming, but in a completely different way. It's just amazing. So yes, thank you for sharing that memory with us, Cheryl. And I will link her channel if you've not already um, subscribe to them, please do go over and check their channel out because they're lovely. I'm going to go because these two dogs are about to have another mad half hour. Anyway, yes, you. You've been a nuisance. Look at the tail. So anyway, I'm going to head off now. That is everything for Vlogmas Day 5, I think. Are we on day 5? Yes. I hope you've enjoyed it. If so, please do hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of my Vlogmas videos. Don't forget to talk to me in the comments below. Did you find the elf today? Because it was a tricky one. It was a very tricky one today. It was a very quick glance that I gave you. So it definitely has appeared, but you might need to look a little bit closer so if you think that I forgot to put them in today I haven't it's just a very quick glance that you get I did say that would happen sometimes I've been making it too easy so this is a harder one so if you know where the elf is please let me know if you're wanting to join in that competition which remember will run until the 2nd of January oh Clyde's got the ball good boy Clyde hardly ever plays he was like eh, that's my ball Clyde <laughs> my ball. This is my life by the way. This is why we're called our Christmas. Because on top of Brooke and Abby and now her boyfriend Adam who lives with us. The baby dragon, the cat. I've got four dogs. <laughs> and this is what I put up with all day. Anyway, yes, if you want to try to win Kevin the carrot in a kilt, you have to tell me where you see the elf head in as many videos as possible. I'm going to go now because it's going to be chaos in here soon. <laughs> it already is. Right, thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 6. Bye! Say bye Santa. Bye!